Another interesting effector is sound effector. Uh, as you can see, I have a cloner that I clone the cube in a linear mode with a five count that I want to explain some sitting in a sound effector. And when you select the cloner, you can go to the move graph and <clears throat> select sound effector. And this is the sound effector. In uh, we have a parameter deformer field coordination I uh, and this selection here this sitting here I explained them before please refer to the previous lessons these lessons are uh, in uh, the hierarchy of them are very important so you need first uh, here with the uh, <coughs> this sound effector you need here to click and load your sound from your PC Okay, now you can see I load my uh, music from a YouTube library here. And uh, if you play, now you can see according to, can play, according to this uh, props here, it's <clears throat> picked the, some uh, information from the, this, music wave and with the parameter that you define here that is position in the y-axis the changing this position <clears throat> so you can change the prompt sitting here and as you can see the color is changing according to that as you can see it's peak you can go here, the first thing that I want to explain here, the sampling. The sampling is peak. Look at this image. <clears throat> this is our way for uh, changing the y-axis uh, position of the uh, cloner. It's uh, use the wave peak, the uh, tip of the wave, the most, uh, the highest part of the way this is a peak mode if you set it to the average it create average and if this peak go up and down the cloner goes up and down and another is <clears throat> exactly the border of that here is a peak average and a step if you select the step as you can see it select the step of that and i think the step is better because it's uh, creative a wave of that or you can select the peak or at the peak is the default uh, you can click and drag these dots and uh, uh, create more space for defining that but another um, another sitting below the sampling is decay the K is a, like a damper. You can, if the wave is very go up and down, you can damper it with a decay. Uh, <clears throat> another sitting here from, yeah, I want to explain it, uh, distribution. Okay, as you can see, I have five objects that are going just by one sampler here. As you can see, all of the, cloner at once go because all of these objects using one uh, sampler here here you can add any prop that you want here prop number one select it it's sample because it is distribution in iterate one of <clears throat> each of each of the uh, object use one prop here for example prop number one used for this then prop number two then again uh, loop for others and you can deselect it select another prop select another prop as we can see sorry we have five four five prop <coughs> Yeah, you can click and drag and change the sampler here. You can bring it up and down. I just, you know, it use this as 
sample. Now, as you can see, each object of the cloner has its own sampler and it is more nice and natural. As you can see, <clears throat> nice. So you learn. And this is an iterate. Another is distribute. Uh, for doing that, you can remove it, remove it, and remove it. It distribute. Sorry, it distribute the props. For example, as you can see, it distrib. For example, we have five. Depend on the prop size. Uh, some of the objects goes uh, sampling from this prop. And some other, <clears throat> another half of the object uh, uh, use this, this distribute between the object of the cloner. And the blend is blending between them. So the iterate is nice. It iterate. If you have a lot of object, it's uh, looping the iterate. For example, the object number one, use this prop for up and down by this wave, another object use this prop and then loop again. This logarithmic is actually for changing the display of the this uh, frequency display here. The channel is for right, left, both. And this gradient, as you can see, if I make it a bigger, this is a gradient for the color. You can define it as a gradient or use a preset. The direction for frequency volume or frequency. This is, look at this image. For example, we have a cloner that we clone in this direction. If you set it as a frequency, this is a radial cloner. The frequency from the frequency mode the changing or gradient move uh, begin from here and going to round and end here. But the value, the, the reddish part begin from the center and go radially to outside. This is distributing for direction of the color you can define. And these prop properties is exactly like this. You can change the uh, high frequency, loudness, and this is just boxing. Changing the size of the box, you can change that. And this is just simple sound effect, and that's it. You can change the position, you can change rotation, uniform scale. Yeah, here you can change the scale of the... Okay. This effector using the sound wave <clears throat> at the tip, the peak, or average, or the step, using these waves for changing the parameter of the cloner. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.